give the floor to World Evangelical Alliance for a joint statement. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. The World Evangelical Alliance and Christian Solidarity Worldwide thank the High Commissioner for her report. We share with her the deep concern at the aggravation of intercommunal tensions and the consequent discrimination and bias attitude against Christian, Muslim and Hindu minorities in Sri Lanka. We would like to bring to the attention of the High Commissioner the issue of registration of places of worship and of religious bodies with the state. In October 2008, the Ministry of Religious Affairs and Moral Upliftment issued a circular requesting all future construction of any place of worship to be subject to prior permission to, of the Ministry. The circular's wording allows the Ministry and local government officials to make decisions to grant or deny permission based on their own understanding and biases. Local level government authorities and law, law enforcement officials have used the 2008 circular to curtail the rights of religious minorities and subject them to harassment. Evangelical Christian churches, prayer meetings and religious worship activities are routinely denied permission to function due to the misapplication of this circular. The procedure prescribed by the circular is inconsistent with the principles of equality, non-discrimination and justice. Therefore, we ask the High Commissioner if her office has addressed the said 2008 circular with the Sri Lankan government, and we urge the Sri Lankan government to withdraw this circular and to align its governance of construction of new places of worship with international human rights standards. Thank you. In terms of the question of freedom of religion, we believe that freedom of religion should not be restricted in any part of the country by bureaucratic or administrative burdens. The Special Rapporteur on Freedom of Religion will visit Sri Lanka this year and can look in details at issues connected to the application of the mentioned circular. 